Francis Mugisha, an information technology expert, is back in Uganda after a nightmare of an experience in Asia. He says it began after he took a job as a data manager and IT specialist in Laos. Not long after his arrival, Mugisha says his bosses told him he owed them 16,000 Chinese yen, the equivalent of $2,225, and the conditions of his job abruptly changed. I never expected someone to come and tell me, I've bought you, you're my slave, you have to work for me. Mugisha says they kept his passport and phone and then sold him to another company based in Myanmar, sending him by boat on the Mekong River. But instead of managing data, he was forced to conduct online scamming. This video purports to show young victims like Mugisha being driven to a compound for online scamming with men wearing military uniforms. Mugisha says he was forced to work long hours under harsh conditions. If you don't get a person, that's uh, like, the, the old, the, it's a day which they will say it's not productive. So you end up, you end up being punished, being treated, being beaten, being locked up. Uh, times you, you're chained to the chair, like if say, uh, no, I cannot work, I want to go, they chain you to your chair. Mugisha says he managed to finally get out by contacting as many people as he could, reaching out to embassies to get help and support from the International Justice Mission and International Rights NGO and the Ugandan Embassy in Myanmar. Kampala officials say about 30 Ugandans are being held under similar conditions at Myanmar compounds in areas held by rebels fighting the country's military junta. Officials say they are run by Chinese organized crime gangs who often smuggle victims through Kenya. The victims fall into the hands of the gangs once they reach Asia. Derek Vasali Rachigeni is Uganda's deputy national coordinator for the prevention of human trafficking. Kigenyi says Ugandan authorities raised the matter with Myanmar's Prime Minister Min Aung Hlaing, who promised that Ugandans who are released will not be held on immigration-related charges. But of course they also acknowledge that uh, the area is rebel-controlled. So anything that involves lawlessness in militia context is quite complex. A spokesman for the Myanmar military did not respond to VOA requests for comment. Mina Chang is the founder of the non-profit group Humanity Research Consultants, which fights human trafficking. She says gangs target people who speak English and other languages that can be used to scam people outside of China. East Africans do speak good English, so that means it's easier um, when it comes to scamming that they, they may be able to, to target other nationalities more than just Chinese. Huh? Also, sometimes the criminals, they do also want to use the victims to, um, let's say, having video calls huh? with their scammed victim. Then you need somebody who can actually speak English, right? Like if you put a Chinese who doesn't speak English, then it would be hard to do that kind of a job. Chang says the criminal activity is protected through systemic corruption in Myanmar, both in junta and rebel-controlled areas where powerful individuals and governments shelter the China-based criminal gangs. Halima Athmani for VA News, Kampala, Uganda.